Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chemaka Okebu. If you're joining me for the first time, of which I know I have had a lot of subscribers over the period of two weeks, and I am really grateful. If this is your first time stumbling on my video, you're very much welcome. <laughs> If you're a returning subscriber, oh, come on. Thank you so much for sticking with me on this YouTube journey. So today, your girl is going to be talking about online shopping in India. <laughs> hey, well, let's just get into this video. So big on online shopping I find it much easier however um, you could say trust is one of the issues I have with online shopping yeah trust patience finding the right size the right products reading specification reviews I think it's just better for me to go to the store and see what I want because I have my I am this kind of person when I want to buy something I feed my eyes first. My eyes, uh, they first like the product before I start feeling it. If I'm not feeling it by leaning my eyes on it, I'm sorry. I'm not even going to try that product. But then the pandemic forced us to actually start making use of online shopping more. You want to buy dresses, you want to buy food, whatever it is, groceries, you have to shop online, right? So yeah, hmm. I was shopping on Mintra. <laughs> I was actually having a nice shopping experience until... Okay, I can't say it was exactly nice, nice, nice. There's, there has been good and bad days. But then, of course, there was this bad day that will continue to linger. I don't think since that time I've ever bought anything on Mintra because I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Now, I bought this. There's this pants I saw on Mintra. It was from... Um, it was a mango pants, so nice, classy, boss girl look, like baby girl, come on. And I placed order for this pant, I think it was around 2000 something or 8199. No, I think it was around 2000 something. Hmm. So I placed order for this pant <laughs> and they told me it was going to come. It was during one of these their sales, right? Maybe the Wally says, I'm not so sure but it was in december or late november so i placed the order for this pant and then they told me that um, they kept sending me messages that due to large order placed on that pant in my region um delivery will be delayed i was fine i was fine because the pants was just lovely unlike me i think at some point i actually thought about cancelling the other but then i was like but this pants is actually nice like girl you know i left it two weeks three weeks <laughs> my pants came so the delivery guy called me on this particular day it was raining cats and dogs and he was close to my hostel the atm and i was like okay bring the pants to me he said he can't come because it's raining i have to come meet him there I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't come meet you there. You have to come down here. It was like, if I don't want to come for the pants, he would go back. He's going to come the next day. That was where I lost it. Because I'm like, okay, I understand the fact that it's raining, but you're already close to me. How would you go back to the gates? Like, would the rain stop for you to go back to the gate? Or would... Like, I don't get it. The time you used to go back to the gate, you actually bring my product to me because it's not even far. You don't even know if I have an umbrella or something. But anyway, as it was, I think he actually did come. Or he left, came back the following day. I don't know how that story went. Dear people of God, this guy brought my trouser. I didn't even check it in his front. It wasn't a, a try and buy. It was actually paid online before coming. I didn't do cash on delivery or try and buy. If not, it would have been so nice, like so perfect. I got into my room. <laughs> 
I got this in my room and I tried to travel. Like, guys, you know when they say what I ordered versus what I got? <laughs> hey, I ordered for a black mango pants with belts and everything i think i'm gonna leave a picture of that it doesn't need a, a a more long formal pants yeah i got a brown i don't know if i'll call it brown nude something within that range coffee no it can't be coffee something within that range coffee brown nude and gray and so on and so forth it was actually um what's this material chinos like material <laughs> three quarter or maybe a short like everything was off it was almost looking like it had been worn like a used dress I, I was furious. Now, that aside, let me return the dress. And then I went online, return, and all that. I didn't even want exchange. I didn't even want to hear anything. I just wanted to return the dress. And then this guy comes to pick up the the fabric, the dress from me. And he says <coughs> it's not eligible for pickup, that I have to send an email, or I have to do this and that. God, I was beginning to lose it. I didn't even understand how deep that was until I started the process. It was like I have to go online and do this. I'm like, boy, you delivered, same person, you delivered this dress to me and I'm returning it. What's the problem? He said it's not the same thing. The dress wasn't approved for return. So I went online, did the whole, long story short, this thing took me like four, five days or a week because I went on Twitter. I went on the Mintra app. There's nothing I did not do. These guys kept on denying. I'm like, the tag is still intact. The price is there. The barcode is there. What else do you guys want? Hmm. Anyway, that experience made me lose trust in online shopping for any, like when it comes to dresses. Like, I don't think since then I've purchased anything online. <laughs> Although I really do need, I really do need dresses right now. But I am more or less, talk because that experience wasn't i don't know it wasn't really nice for someone who actually has trust issues for um shopping and this happened every from the fact that it happened if their um, resolution had been much much easier i'm pretty sure i wouldn't be experiencing this right but then when you take me through a whole lot of process for resolution like it was a lot and i had no reason why i was i saw no reason why i was bearing bearing the burden of their mistake right because they actually did not want to refund or take their dress nothing it was even more or less like sometimes they were ignoring and sometimes yeah they tried i wouldn't lie but then like it just really put me off and also i want to buy some things on amazon and then i go through the comment section and some people will be, some people will be giving so nice reviews but some people will give negative reviews and i'm like what am i supposed to do <laughs> so this this there was this thing i wanted to buy when i checked i saw someone who made a statement like guys do not believe the good reviews you see because this company calls when you purchase the product they call you and they, they tell you they'll give you um 30 rupees 100 rupees if you can give them good reviews sincerely i can't relate because that's so so sometimes when i see good reviews i'm like have you been called <laughs> sorry <laughs> have you been called I don't know. There, there are a lot of other apps. I know there's Agio, the Mintra, Amazon, Flipkart. There's okay, Shindo is no longer working. But there's Urbanic and um, Tata Click and all that. I think the major ones I have tried will be Flipkart, Amazon. Amazon has good return policy so far. The ones I have faced, stress free. Um, I haven't returned anything on Flipkart. Urbanic, no, I haven't, so I don't I really do not know. However, God, that Mintra experience really did it for me. I don't know. Have you experienced something like that? Have you had issues returning a product? 
or let me just hear what your online experience has been purchasing goods online be it food groceries and um, dresses earrings accessories whatever books have you had any issues ordering from any platform i'd like to hear from you so that i know what it is like good or bad reviews whatever anyone it is i just want to hear from me and know what your experiences has been just the way i have shared mine this is just my bad experience but then i've had lovely experience especially from nika i've had really good experience <laughs> all right guys so this was just a chit chat and for me to say thank you so much to those who have been subscribing you get to see more of me Thank you so much for watching my video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do not forget we have a discussion in my comment section. I will respond. Tell me what your experience has been. And I will see you in my next video. Do have a lovely day. Bye. <laughs>